Jewel. It's pressure points. Hey guys, so most of you are familiar with this little black and gold module from Make Noise. Pressure points always seemed like a module I could wrap my head around, but like so many other modules, I was a bit intimidated. So a few months ago, I was asked by a Twitter follower of mine what I thought of the Make Noise pressure points module and if he should purchase one. I told him I couldn't say until I actually tried it out for myself. And well, I guess this presented the perfect opportunity to really see how it fit into my personal setup. To start off, the Pressure Points is a controller module. It's an analog sequencer that can be played with just your fingers. Pressure Points can send gate, pressure CV, and three rows of tune voltage CV. The four touch plates at the bottom of the module are very responsive, but of course, if you need more precise sensitivity, you can adjust the digit trimmer over here. The Brains module is a, hold on. <clears throat> it's a clock sequential binary event machine or as I like to think of it as just the expansion module for the pressure points. Here you've got clock input, clock reset input, clock run input, clock direction input, touch gate output, which is a combined output of all the touch plates gates and the touch clock input. All that said, how are you supposed to use the pressure points in your setup? Hmm. Well, the true potential of pressure points is that it's really set up to be what you want it to be. In the performance you heard, I decided to use the pressure points to control a few different things. So let's go through what I did. First, I wanted to use the pressure points in sort of a different way. As a keyboardist, I wanted the ability to trigger chords from the pressure points using some chords I played and sampled via the 4MS STS. This way, I could play melodies on the Lifeforms KB1, and with this setup, it was possible to have a really jazzy Eurorack performance without any external controllers. So, I used the first row of tune voltages to cycle through the different samples. By changing the position of these four knobs, the corresponding touch plate will change to a different sample. This, along with the Brains module's touch gate output, allows each touch plate to trigger a gate out and play the chosen sample that the first row of tune voltages is selecting. Then I thought, hmm, the same chords over and over might get a little boring. So why not randomly transpose the samples using pressure points? So I utilized the clock in on the brains module to move through the steps. So when you initially press a touch plate and have the second row of tune voltages above the lowest setting to change the pitch of the CV sample via the one volt per octave on the 4MS STS. In addition, since I wasn't limited to just choosing the pressure output or just the gate output on each channel, I used channel one's pressure output to control the cutoff of the filter module that I'm running my drum pattern through. This is cool since I'm using the touch plate one to simultaneously trigger a sample. This is what's giving you that cool low pass resonant texture you're hearing on the drums. I also used the make noise mask to affect the gate run input on brains. I wanted this to be random so that the clock would randomly stop and start on different steps, adding another layer of texture. Performing with the Make Noise Pressure Points is a pleasure, but there are always some things I'd like to see added. First, I really would have liked to see the output for not just a global gate as you get with the T-gate output on brains, but I would have liked to see a global pressure output for all the plates. I'll give it to you straight, guys. For me, the Pressure Points really pushes the envelope of what a touch controller can squeeze out of 20 HP. Brains truly expands the capability of pressure points, and I'd almost have to say, I'd be unhappy without having this pairing. Brains really just adds that much. Having the ability to chain up to four pressure points together creates a comprehensive and compelling controller when combined, all within your Eurorack setup. 
A big thank you to Make Noise for letting me check out the pressure points and brains so I can help answer an awesome follower's question. Remember to like, subscribe with notifications, and thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.